Happening tomorrow, the D.C. Council is set to meet for the very first time since Council Member Tran White was arrested and charged with bribery. White was accused of accepting $150,000 in bribes, all in exchange for his influence on city contracts. He pleaded not guilty last week. D.C. News Now's Marielle Carbone is live outside for us there at the Wilson Building tonight. And Marielle, is White expected to be at the meeting tomorrow? Well, Susan, by all accounts, yes, but in what capacity and what his role will be on council is unclear and could change. This is people both inside and outside of city government are calling for change. As council member Treyon White maintains his innocence, his council colleagues are left debating a path forward. The voters elected him and the only way to stop that is to expel him. That's not happening yet, but it could. Council returns from summer break Tuesday, meeting for the first time since White was arrested last month. He's accused of agreeing to accept $156,000 in bribes in exchange for his influence in contracts dealing with city violence and eruption programs. I do not have indication of how much he intends to participate. Still, his role on the council could be reduced. The person is presumed innocent until proven beyond a reasonable doubt, but we are moving forward with the uh, disciplinary process. The council will vote to dissolve the Committee on Recreation, Library and Youth Affairs, which White chairs, and establish two subcommittees instead, chaired by council members Zachary Parker and Matt Fruman. Plus, an ad hoc committee will meet for the first time Tuesday morning, investigating White with the help of outside counsel. As that happens, a new push from outside City Hall. D.C.'s police union calling for the district to stop funding all violence interruption programs until it does an audit on their actions. The Chairman Greg Pemberton saying in a statement, the council must freeze wasteful spending on unproven shady programs now. There is no science-based metric or data that justifies the spending of millions of dollars on these programs. And we did reach out to some violence interruption programs to get their thoughts on that call from the police union. We didn't hear back from any. Uh, Susan, tomorrow full council has their first meeting at 11 a.m. Uh, that ad hoc committee meets at 9 a.m. Reporting live from the Wilson building tonight, I'm Marielle Carbone, DC News Now.